football, you know, and that's historically always been the way. And with with this, it, it's you know, you're not even phoning the other side of town. You're phoning halfway across the county to see where the weather is because I mean, it was dry in the pit I mean, lane when people were going off on the ice halfway David, around the track. Yeah, I mean, David King was saying he knew the um, weather on the previous um, rainstorm was going to the north of the pit lane. Yeah. What he didn't know was how far to the north of the pit lane it was going and whether it was going to skirt the track or pass harmlessly even further north. Yeah. Uh, and there's a similar kind of problem here. Yes, exactly right. And, uh, and again, race control clearly believe that they have enough information that it is going to reduce in severity, the rain that they will be able to release the cars sooner rather than later. They uh, are currently filing their way once more out of the uh, final little pair of chicanes, almost the last couple of corners, and onto the Grand Prix track start finish line. And there is a board being held up saying extra formation lap. Whether anybody other than the safety car drivers can see that or not, I'm afraid, remains entirely a moot point. But they will be told on their radios as they come past by the team or as they got into probably onto dotting a her where they might be expecting to be cinching up the belts and getting ready for a full ball wet weather restart that in fact that was not going to happen this lap at least. I'll tell you what it has done though because we've moved from being a pace car to being a safety car mm -hmm. we've moved if you could see my hands there from being side by side <laughs> starting I didn't realize that didn't work for, for weather as I was saying it uh, we've moved from being side by side starting to being nose to tail starting which means that as and when we are ready for the uh, green flag to be waved across start finish line and the safety cars to come in uh, then we will get a nose to tail start rather than a formation side by side type of start which well, in itself is going to be a safer way of getting cars and getting things underway but they've said this is a formation lap so they should be side by side as on a formation lap because it's I, not a safety car lap where they can follow uh, nose to tail I take your point but i am um, i being semantic and pedantic no you are you're you are what you say may well happen but i think that needs to be vouchsafed towards all drivers and teams either move into two by two grid formation or stay as you are the fact is that at the moment they are showing no signs of being in two by two grid formation they have gone nose to tail they have gone nose to tail and maybe that will help with visibility and and the ability to get the field a little bit more up to speed as well uh, you can hear carbon brakes squealing in the background on the sound effects because they're trying to get some heat into them as they come past the cameras down into the first couple of corners without locking up and going off or catching the guy behind unawares and this is you know when it's bone dry and you're on a formation lap and you're everybody's accelerating and slowing down accelerating slowing down trying to build the heat that's one thing when visibility is at a premium as it is now you have to be really really careful grandstands are full tracks are packed to the rafters with fans who have frankly got bored of eating barbecued meat and drinking beer it would seem and have come back to see some racing cars making a noise so it was a, a pleasant little mid-afternoon interlude for everybody um should perhaps have gone back to the hotel and got some sleep during the, that three hours but didn't know how long it was going to go on curiously uh, although um nurburgring norbert has gone through at the tail of the safety car train the red lights haven't switched to green uh, now that the man who's operating the switch has waved at the man who's down there on the pit lane um, as if to say you should be going out but uh, as I said currently the red light is on at the end of the pit lane and those three cars um, are have losing now lost further a lap. time uh, well they already had lost a lap but they're losing further time because there's now another safety car coming through um, so as that safety car I wonder if they're ah, but they're not in the right group so that you wouldn't want to release them onto the back of group one because you've got you know your TCR say out in there and whatever so presumably they go onto the back of group three um, and then devil take behind the most well we'll see at the moment he <laughs> Um, I think uh, a degree of confusion is now raining down there, um, so we'll leave that one to sort yeah. itself out in the fullness of time. Indeed. Uh, got a couple of quick requests and we've got plenty of time to do it uh, for just a bit of a, a rejig through the class leaders, gentlemen. We want to have a quick run through that? If, if you do that, oh, dear, Lord. Um, dear Jim... Oh, well, I could do that. Uh, so number nine car is uh, the car at the front of the first group uh, behind the, what well, I think we're now calling a safety car. Um, and that is, of course, the uh, Bilstein liveried uh, Black Falcon Mercedes-Benz AMG. 
Uh, that car leads the race and leads uh, Group SP9. Let's see. All right, <laughs> Let, let's do that one. There is no uh, E1 XP car anymore. Nope. Leading SPX is, according to timing and scoring, in 40th place, the number 702 uh, Clickenhaus machine. Not, 40th place? No, it's not. It's well, because of that. That's, it's, yes, it's, it's not because it's the first 18 cars. Right, so subtract 18 mentally from these to save me having to try and do it live seconds. on air. It's 20 second position. Yeah, but when we get down into 173rd, I'll, I'll keep doing those I'm, hard I'm songs. I'm not doing that. That's right. Uh, Cup 3 class, uh, this is in no particular order, uh, being led by 355, the Borsch, Schmickler and Humbert, uh, Porsche Cayman 981 GT4, that is in ninth. add 18 to that. SP... <laughs> 27. SP, thank you. SP6 <laughs> is being led, this is the second uh, the third quickest of our SP classes, uh, led by car number 83. That's the Ackerman, Valcher, Fiskirchen and Walter Porsche GT3 Cup car. Uh, and that's just changed position, so I'm not even going to try that. SP2 Turbo, car number 133, Schrick, Schumann, Naumann and Hamel in the Hyundai i30. Uh, Cup uh, 5 class is led by 305. That's the Schrei, Mies, Akata and Dries uh, M235i BMW, ahead of a field of M235i BMWs. Cup Class 1, led by 251, Bruggenkamp, Schroeder, Wanger and Triebelhorn, Astra OPC Cup Car. And again, that is a class entirely consisting of Astra uh, Cup Cars. Uh, the three-class TCR field currently being led by 202, that's the Pats, Niedzwitz, Friedhoff and Friedhoff, say at Leon. Uh, the 201 car is now shown as on an outlap. That is the car that was the leader when it crashed and has been hastily rebuilt. And the car that was on pole, uh, which is the 204 Golf GTI, which bounced off 201, scrabbled out of the gravel trap to then take the lead, is now on pit lane, having surrendered its lead. SP3T, uh, the Tiger, Gorian, Andre and Leeson, number 104 Audi TTRS, uh, ahead of the Subaru in its class. Uh, V2T is car number 175, Pats, Kluger, Koshin and Kimela in their Volkswagen Scirocco. That's led all the way from the start. V3T, the single car in that class is a BMW M235i and that's the Von Garrel, Erlinger and Cox car number 171. V3 is being led by 126, quote, Brody, Bredza, Mutjens and Barbaro. That's the Toyota GT86 ahead of the other Toyota GT86s, uh, one of which is a Subaru BRZ, of course. That's car number 168. Uh, in the V4 class, um, cars currently uh, the lead group just out of the carousel, so I'll get uh, a bit of a shake on because we might go green this time around. Uh, leading V4, 141, Rink, Brink, uh, Tink, Piana, and Steinhaus in the BMW E90. There is no tink in that car, of course. I was just being onomatopoeic. Uh, V6 class, uh, led by car number 158, Tweeten, Sandberg and Fubrick, Porsche 991. V5 class, uh, being led by car number 151, Bullisbach, Shetler, Briody and uh, Arimon, their Porsche Cayman. In the SP3 class, uh, the number 117 car is the leader. That is the Renault Clio of Peter, Groningen and Renner Zemmel. And in the SP8 class, don't you dare reset when I'm nearly at the bottom of the page. In the SP8 <laughs> class is a number 42 Aston Martin Vantage GT8 of uh, Kate Camel, uh, Camelga, uh, Turner and Gweldon. Uh, apologies to everybody in the booth related uh, for mangling those names. Uh, in the AT class, uh, the leader is the 112 Porsche Cayman GT4 of Schmudo, dropping the beats obviously one for, with Van Lois de Menard, uh, Shellhaus and Duffler. And I believe they were on the Peel show back in 1978. Uh, the SP40, <laughs> it's that time already. The SP40 class being led by the 96 Audi TTRS of Lerner, Vassal, Schmitz and Jaeger. SP5, we're only five from the end now, hurrying through them. The 93 car leads, it's the only car in the class, the BMW 1M Coupe GTR. Graham, how long have I got? Uh, you're fine at the moment. Okay, SP10 <laughs> led by 76, that's the uh, Weber, Burma's Preacher and the Henry. Ricci, Aston Martin, Vantage V8. And was Mark Webber on the grid earlier? 
I believe he was around the uh, environs. Wearing a smile that said, I'm very happy to be here and, not and really happy not to be driving. <laughs> uh, the f <laughs> the f well, mind you, most of his teammates aren't driving anymore either. Uh, the number 59 uh, Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car uh, is leading SP7. That's Steve Smith, Renga, Reimer and Prochik. Two to go. SP8 Turbo is being led by the Nissan GTR, the number 48 car, Schulze, Schulze, Tresson and Schulzitzki, that's the graduates car isn't it, and finally and by no means lastly because they are in 51st plus or minus 18, no that will be genuinely 51st won't it, uh, the Katuoka, Tsushia, Oshima and Iguchi Lexus RCF is leading the SP Pro class which brings us back to the top of the field, the SP9 class which is being led as uh, we said, by the number nine Mercedes, which has led the field from the start. Uh, you're not supposed to have favourites, are you, in the media? We do have favourites. We're going to give a big shout-out, uh, um, hoping it's not their first year, and this is the first time that the, uh, the guests of Travel Destinations down at Camping and Nürburgring will, who will be having a soggy, but I've no doubt, incredibly happy time here. It's not always like this. Um, it uh, will get, it, it will, is. It, no, it's not. It's, uh, it will get uh, better. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, Enjoy your weekend. There are lots of people sitting opposite us in the grandstands looking maybe a little less thrilled to be here than they were 20 minutes ago, but that will change if and when we get back to green flag racing, I'm sure. Graham Otherwise, Goodwin. the Bratfurst stands are going to take another hammering. Graham Goodwin has just done the equivalent of sitting in a, uh, on an inflatable animal in a paddling pool outside a tent, walled in by bottles of beer, saying, Le Mans's not always like this, you know. <laughs> No, for us, been for me. <laughs> you need to get out more <laughs> sunshine. Paul Trustwell, please, <laughs> um, some sense. Oh, I'll do my best. Um, so th the, the only issue I can see here with running behind the safety car for a prolonged period of time is that we then have to start getting into... Um, I mean, we're not yet, because um, we're only on the third lap, but if it goes on for four or five laps, then um, some of the smaller engine cars are going to start getting uh, lower on fuel, and we're then going to have to start making refueling pit stops under safety car conditions. Now, so that's not a huge issue just yet, um, but we have now been running uh, for half an hour mm. under the safety car uh, and that was only three laps we haven't even finished the third lap yet um, these cars will do easily do an hour especially at this speed um, on a tank full of fuel that's always assuming that they've all filled them up there may have been somebody out there saying oh we well, don't quite fill it up all the way because we're going to come in after three or four laps well that's going to massively backfire on you yes. um, the cars which were in the pit lane um, have all now gone out and have been replaced instead uh, by one of the Opals number 254 which is now waiting for the uh, safety car train to come through and then that will be able to rejoin but of course these cars are effectively losing a lap every time they yeah. come into the pits for um, uh, for any sort of pit stop. Well that, that's a Team WS uh, Opal Cup car and they were quite a long way down the order anyway they 100, are 141st well, no, no. on the little red light on the side of the car well 126 on our timing screen so you do you do that <laughs> graham is that 18 uh, oh, not, no. not <laughs> uh, they are fifth in the cup class and the next car in that cup class is a long way behind but there are other cars in the pits uh, also shown as in the pits is 204 which is uh, Racing One's Volkswagen Golf GTR that is the pole sitting TCR car that is still in third in class That's and if, it makes, doors. if it makes it to the <laughs> yes, if it makes it to the line uh, we'll end up on the podium but of course it's got to make it to the chequered flag uh, having just left the pit lane we talked about the 115 BMW uh, that left five or six minutes ago but of course it's probably 20 minutes from coming back past us again at this speed um, and the Manta's in the pit lane I'm afraid uh, it is with heavy heart that I must relate that 122 is still in there and uh, you know it's not very often I say this but I'd rather wish we had Nick Damon here now I know, I know, don't, wait, wait, you wait, know, wait. no, no. Are no. we ready for a song? No, just, just to make him run down to the mantra and find out what's wrong with it and be to fix it. Because, of course, now he's a classic car owner as well. He must know how to fix all broken cars. It's a checkbook. Come on, you've had okay. <laughs>
<laughs> the Here all week, the, folks. <laughs> the, 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 uni the universal tool. <laughs> yep. It's, it's been said many times to me with the Morris Minor, there's only one thing that's going to fix it. Oh, excellent. Have you got one? No, but you have. It's a credit card. Get it out. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, it, uh, the Manta, I'm afraid. I, I can't believe this is the end of the road for the Manta and the Foxtail. In fact, even the Foxtail has stopped, it tweet, has stopped tweeting. That's how serious things may be getting down there. So we will beetle off. In fact, I might even send Hind off now. Should, should we show of hands? Does, no, he's, he's saying no. It's, it's, it's showing that the lack of enthusiasm that I, <laughs> I think is absolutely staggering. I, I, think, I think perhaps if we work on a responsible adult, a, a runner will be dispatched to Foxtail Heaven. I can see one being beaten into shape right to now. To see whether it is indeed Foxtail Heaven or Foxtail Hell. But uh, a, a, a Nürburgring 24 hours, in my experience, without a Manta in it, is not a Nürburgring 24 hours. It's just a race at the Nürburgring. Uh, <laughs> So here we go. We are still under safety car conditions now. We are under safety car conditions, having had two formation laps after a near four-hour red flag. Uh, Paul, exactly how long was the... Oh, Paul's halfway through a yoghurt. That was a really poor time to ask him. That's why he's buttoned off. I, I, uh, he... That's all right. We're there. The, um, the, the, the red flag was for exactly three hours. Okay. Um, Not nearly four then, then. So, no, it was exactly three. Um, we then have gone green in inverted commas. I say it in inverted commas because, uh, as I say, these laps, so far as I know, are counting, even though the timing system hasn't quite uh, caught up. Um, but we are under uh, race conditions now, even though we are neutralised behind the safety car. Um, and thus, but uh, what I haven't done is because we've now gone through the four and a half, or we will shortly be going through the four and a half hour mark, mm. um, is to reset that element of uh, the computer. And I'll do that when I've gone back to my sausage, if you don't mind, Martin. Uh, go ahead. You, you uh, do your worst. <laughs> Here all week, folks. Uh, there is a man in the track. Fortunately, he's neither wearing a kilt nor a priest's outfit. He is in full wet weather gear of visibility rating high. But he is halfway down dotting a her. He stroke she is halfway down dotting a her, peering back towards the direction of travel. Now, in the forests around uh, the uh, Schloss Nürburg, in which threads uh, this most prestigious and wonderful of racetracks, there are many, many little pockets of mist, and those will turn very shortly into pockets of fog. As the temperature drops, the cold air will descend upon us. There won't be much heat from the ground to force the fog up, and so uh, it will be quite a foggy evening. However, the queue of cars continues to circulate here, and are we hearing Not no, yet. our time, our screen, our Not information yet. screen from the organizer still says a third formation lap on which we are on, but, well, now, normally, if it was any other race, I'd say, why? Whereas we get to the end of timing sector two, the lights will go off on the safety car, and if they don't, we won't go green. Now, would that be the case at the end of timing sector four, which is just as we get to the beginning of dotting her lights are on on the safety car everybody's still weaving they're still doing 80 k's i'm saying we're not going green this time neither uh, well it did say third formation lap a lot earlier than this last time around we did i'm not we're... making any assumptions at this stage though there is a question here gentlemen which is with rain still falling heavily here what's the case for going green at this stage if it's too wet Last time around, it's not getting any drier, has it? Well, Jim Roller's uh, very sophisticated uh, vintage 2001 weather app on his phone shows, he's just showing me a moving picture. It's a shell on a string, isn't it? You know when you get slimed by slime and there's this dayglo slime all over the place that gradually sinks down you if you're yep. Dr. Venkman? It's doing that and, and we're sort of middle to top of that and it's sinking away from us. So I think what he's trying to show us is that the weather front is moving away to the south and it's going to get not worse rather than worse. Right. Okay. I'm, not, I'm, I'm refraining from using the word better only because I'm sat in a commentary box and not on a car in the Nordschleife, in the rain, in limited grip and in diminishing visibility because I'm not sure that it's going to be better there for a while but it should not get worse which might, might give race control the courage to release the field but at the moment as they are uh, heading up towards Antonius Booker, the fast, flat-out left-hander at the end of the straight. The lights are still on and the safety car shows no intention of 
beetling off into the distance to allow the leader a run down through the final few corners. I will give one option here. We might be going green. There's still, there's still our safety car li uh, lights on. Uh, we were dis discussing earlier whether or not this is a formation lap mm. or a safety car lap. Mm. Could we be entering a period where it's a safety car lap? We are going dozy do or two by two by grid yes yeah. we are so we are forming up into two by two formation uh, the paddling pools the barbecues uh, the inflatable accessories are being waved on fences all the way around the track but most cogently of all as we head into the last four corners of the Nordschleife although the lights remain on on the safety car and he is studiously keeping the pace of our leading group under control they are in two by two formation. We are not seeing the safety car racing away yet. There is no board for an extra formation lap no. in the position we've seen on the previous two. A lot of arm flapping going on from marshals who are clearly Restart already chilled to the after boat. this formation lap. Restart after, after this, this formation, formation lap. lap. Here we go. We are getting ready to go green once more. Safety car pulls off, 19 hours, 27 minutes remain as the field is released. We go green flag racing once more. The number nine Mercedes has the lead and into the wall of spray. Four wide come the Mercedes and the BMWs behind it. Down on the run into the first corner. Our lead car will have a good view and the chance not to aquaplane off. But sweeping around the outside has gone the BMW and... Uh, taking the lead into the second corner and out onto the Grand Prix track. The number 22 BMW has swept around the number 9 Mercedes who has been justifiably cautious, Graham Goodwin, on the entry into that downhill first turn and when it drops away underneath the man on the inside line and the BMW took huge advantage. Sorry, it's the 18 BMW. 18 Apologies, BMW. It's the Sorry. super car that went through, got much the better run down into the first couple of turns, Paul. That is one of the most astonishing things I've ever seen. I mean, going out on the Nürburgring yesterday and watching them on the, uh, out on the carousel was astonishing, but watching that start, um, again, for those of you listening and to try and explain it to you, uh, 57 odd cars going through, pouring rain, the spray that was kicked up made visibility absolutely impossible. There were people putting the brakes on as they went um, uh, across start finish line purely because they were about to hit the car in front and they purely and then had to slow down. Astonishing skill from those drivers that they all managed to get through uh, without incident because Chain. that really was magnificent driving. Change for second place and as third. well and for third place the number nine Mercedes is now down to fourth. The second of the BMWs has moved up into third place. We thought initially it was the 88 Mercedes. The 29. It was the 29 that has gone by. And Audi on the move as well has gone by that number nine car, which now has both Haribo Mercedes behind it. And they're showing no signs of being able to overtake. The Mercedes clearly struggling for tyre temperature here in a way that the BMWs and the oh, Audis oh. are not. And the leader has gone off, barely makes it around the left-hand hook onto the... Uh, Nordschleife proper got really deep in under braking, just squirreled away, and that's the danger with being the leader. They spent three laps going around at 60 kilometers an hour. He's the one that finds out that there isn't enough grid, uh, grip at racing speed. The lead group of four with the number nine bottling up the pair of Abu Aribo cars in fifth, uh, in sixth and seventh, and looking like it's going to get beaten up by both of them. But the four cars in the lead of this race now close right together because of that run wide as the cars went out of the Nordschleife by the number 18 car. Managed to retain the place, but it's the 18 from the 29. Then it's the row racing car. And now, having had 75 nutters head down into the first corner in a wall of spray where only one of them has even the faintest clue where the corner is, the second starting group races across the line. They are released into the wettest of conditions. Three wide down into the first corner. And it's going to be the man on the outside here. On the outside, you've got the advantage. You've got runoff area. The track doesn't drop away. And then you can make a block pass onto the left-hander on the inside. You have the inside line. We saw it in the touring car races earlier. We saw it in the Audi TT support races yesterday and today. We're seeing it here again. Outside line is the best line. And the wider on the outside, the more uh, outrageous your attempt, the better it works. And it's much the same as Paul Trusswell described about the Group 1 start. A wall of spray six wide as they cross the starch finish line for well we we get five or six cars 
invisibility and then there is just 